Here's how to process virtual rewards and when to use split tender. If a guest presents you with a virtual reward card, note the card number and expiration date on the back of the receipt. You can then manually key the number into your point of sale or processor in order to charge the balance to the card. You'll find that in most cases, the reward value is less than the balance of the check. So just choose split payment on your point of sale and only charge the reward card for the exact amount of the card balance. In the event that the reward card balance exceeds the check, ask the diner if they would like to add a tip on the reward card before you process it. Tip tolerance is disabled for the reward cards in order to ensure restaurants can run the card for the available balance. You need to add the tip to the bill total and process it as a single transaction instead of adding it afterwards. Should a guest decide to pay tip on the card after you've already processed it, you'll need to run the card again as a separate transaction. If you have further questions, give us a shout at 1-800-OPEN-TABLE.